Hello, boys and girls. I am going to read you the story for the week. You may be wondering why I have this. Well, the story this week is about Alexander Graham Bell. He invented something we use every day. I wonder if you know. And, well, I may have just given you a clue, but I'm not going to say any more. So, we are going to learn about the genre this week is biography. It is a, a biography is when somebody gives an account of someone else's life. So, this week, the author is Lola M. Schaefer. She is the biographer. She wrote the biography of this story about Alexander Graham Bell. Now, I want to introduce you to another word, though, that is important because you're going to be doing it in the next couple weeks. Autobiography. So an autobiography is a story that you write about your life. You write it. Somebody else doesn't. You write it, and it's nonfiction. It's true. It's a story of your life. And so in a couple weeks, we're going to be doing that too. So I wanted to introduce you to this week's genre, biography, and then our genre coming up, autobiography, the difference between those two. So biography this week, somebody writes a story about somebody else. And that's what we have this week, the story of Alexander Graham Bell. He invented something we use every day. I am not going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to give you some clues. Some of you may already know that, what he invented. I'm going to read the story. It's a great little story. It gives you some facts about him because it is a biography, so it's going to give us some details about his life. Before we go there, let's look at this, the words that we'll be reading. Early, read with me, learn, science built through. Early in life, a man named Mr. Bell, Alexander Graham Bell, liked to learn about science. He later built a machine that sent voices through wires. Do you know the name of that machine? Do you know the name of that machine? This is a picture of him talking in that machine. The genre, again, is biography. A, bi a, biogra a biography. I am sorry. There was a little mistake there. A biography tells a person's life story. It is written by someone else. Now you will read about the man who invented the telephone. So that's why Miss Van Gerwen was doing the silliness with my fun little old phone that I have. Yes, we are going to read about Alexander Graham Bell. He invented the telephone. Why is he... Important person to know. Alexander Graham's mother was deaf, meaning she could not hear. She was still able to teach him to play the piano. Alexander was a good was good at music and science. Boys and girls, this is a timeline that will, throughout the story, tell the different things that he invented. But I wanted to tell you that all of us have a timeline in our life from the moment we're born we have a timeline that, you know, shows all the different things in our life. Like your timeline now is you're in first grade. Next year, your timeline will be second grade. So I think it's interesting that they put that in the story here to kind of help us to understand, even learn about what a timeline is. This is a picture of his family. Alexander was interested in sound. He also liked to invent things. Do you guys like to invent things? You never know. You could become an inventor in life and invent something that people use all the time. He also liked to build he liked to build machine machines that could speak. He also tried to make his dog talk. Now that would have been a good one right there. Alexander using an early invention. Okay. In 1871, Alexander moved to Boston 
During the day, he taught deaf students how to speak. At night, he did experiments with sound. I think it's really cool that he ended up uh, helping students to learn uh, that cannot hear um, because his mom, remember, could not hear. And so that gave him a heart to work with kids that were also deaf. But at night, he did experiments with sound. He had a, he had a heart for inventing things all the way back when he was young. This is a classroom at a school for the deaf. That was his job. And then he just decided to go into inventing things. Alexander wanted to learn more about electricity. Of course, electricity. When we turn our light switch on, that brings electricity. That's what we have in our home. In 1874, he met Tom Watson. Tom knew how electricity worked. They began to work together, and the timeline continues. You've probably seen these around our neighborhoods. These are electricity poles the, and the wires. Electricity runs through the wires throughout our city to our homes so that when we do turn on that switch, we have electricity in our home. Alexander stopped teaching. He did experiments day and night. So he wanted to do what he loved. He and Tom wanted to invent a machine that could send voices from one place to another. What do you think that machine was, boys and girls, or ended up being? A model of Bell's first telephone. So that's the machine that they were wanting to invent, a machine that could send a voice from one place to another. And what is what does that? Our phones. That's right. All right, let's continue here. On March 10th, 1876, Alexander and Tom reached their goal. Alexander spoke to Tom through the first telephone. Isn't that amazing? He invented the first telephone. Now, it did not look like a cell phone. This, the first cell phone was invented in 1973. So that was not the first phone that was invented. It didn't look like the cell phones because cell phones are wireless. They don't have wires. The old fashioned phones, the first phones he invented had wires. Alexander Tom made the telephone better. Soon it could send voices many miles. In 1915, they made the first telephone call across the United States. And there it is, across the United States, there is Alexander Graham Bell using his first phone that he invented, and boy, have we come a long way from that phone to what we use now. Isn't that amazing? Look at the difference, boys and girls. Alexander spent his life inventing things. He died in 1922. He changed the way people communicate with one another. Again, I think it's interesting that he invented the telephone. He had a heart for uh, the science of of sound because his mom was deaf and so he had a special heart there for that and here he is right here here's a timeline of all the things he invented the author Lola M Schaefer she is the one that wrote the biography in this story about him so it is a really great story and I encourage you to look up more information about him with the help of your parents. I also wanted to show you a couple pictures of phones, what they might have, what not, what they did, what they look like in his time. This was the first phone that he used. Now look how different that is to what we have now. And then, oops, so sorry. Let's go. Let's see. Let me go back. I'm so sorry. Um, this is another picture of another phone a few years after that. I'm not sure how many years, but these this is how they look like after his. They kept changing them and making them easier to use and better. Here's another one. So you pick the handle up and you put that on your ear and then you, you dial the number right here. This was a wall phone. Same thing, you're going to pick that up, put that on your ear, and then talk into here. This is telephone. These were more like when I was a kid and a teenager. You dial, you pick this part up, and you dial it. 
This is the history of cell phones. Cell phones, again, were invented in 1973. This was like what it looked like, the first one. And look at the difference now. Like, look at the size. This was really big, and they were very, very expensive when they first came out. Not everybody had a cell phone because they were so expensive. Of course, now that's what we use, that's what we all use as cell phones. I also have one here I wanted to show you. This is a cool looking phone. So this is really, after he invented the telephone, this is what it was for a long, long time. You had a, It was connected to this. You would have to dial the phone in some way. They had different kinds, but this was the concept. You talked into here, and then you hung up when you were done. So through the years, telephones have changed a lot. But I want to leave you with this thought, boys and girls, that he really had a heart for science. And I want to encourage you to watch our science videos that Mrs. Curtis does. She has a real heart for science, too, and wants to teach you the different things. Because, boys and girls, you never know. You could have an invention in you that is going to be birthed, that's going to be born as you get older and come out and help other people. You never know how God's going to use us with those things that he has planted inside of us. Like our story to this week, Alice Hander, Graham Bell. He, when he was a little boy, he didn't know, but he had a heart for it. He would end up inventing the first telephone that would help us to be able to communicate across the miles, to communicate with anybody. We can call anybody in the world from this amazing invention. So I want to encourage you to keep dreaming and keep believing because God's going to use you. All right. I hope you enjoyed our story this week. Bye-bye.